Hi, welcome to a quick walk around video for our Alfa Romeo Giulietta. Um, we've had quite a few of these over the last few months. Um, this is probably the most eye-catching one we've had. Um, I'm unsure if it's a different body kit or something like that. I'll, I'll check through the spec sheet and uh, put as much info on there as I can. But it really is a, a sort of standout looking car. Um, I'll take you around and show you absolutely everything that I can see in terms of spec. Um, I'll try and point out any defects that I can find. A couple of stone chips on the bonnet was about all I could really see. Um, but I'll, I'll take you around thoroughly and um, you can obviously then make your own mind up. Uh, metallic black, I will pop the bonnet and find out the alpha name for that colour. Put it on the advert so you know what you're dealing with. But it's a, it's a metallic black. LED daytime running lights down the side there. Front fog lights. And then it's, it's black and red everything throughout the car. Um, all really nicely colour coded. Black alloys, they're in very good condition. Uh, a couple of minor marks, I'll point them out if I can spot them here. Uh, they're 18 inch, got these little alpha logos, which aren't a sticker, I can feel that with my nail, it's like embossed in. Black side repeaters, gray metallic mirror caps and door handles. Privacy glass through the back there. Color match and gaps are all good throughout and it's HPI clear. I can't spot any poor previous paintwork. It's got a matching set of Goodyear tyres all round. Spoiler with the high level brake light built in. Rear parking sensors here. Black badges. This uh, sort of diffuser along the bottom here. Really nice note to the exhaust. Parcel shelf is present. We've got the load through facility there, 12 volt point up here, storage bins on the side, and a full size spare wheel with a tool kit. Tiny marks on that one there as well. Roof's all good. Sensor in there for the uh, wipers. And like I say, a couple of small stone chips here and there. I'll have a go at touching those in. I think you'd lose the majority of them. Right, that's the outside. Head inside now. Start at the back. Carbon fibre effect throughout. Rear electric windows. Didn't come into me with any mats, this one. Black carpets. All black leather. You see it's solid on the outside and perforated on the centre sections. Isofix points for your two outer rear seats. That's the load through that I showed you from the other side. If you're not using the middle seat, you've got this... Uh, storage area and cup holder combination that you can utilize if not that folds back up into there all black on the headlining and you've got heat vents there as well magazine holders in the back of the seats you've also got your child locks just tucked away there the other side is obviously much the same just so you can see that everything opens and you can see everything from all angles all three headrests present along the back there really lovely condition this vehicle okay onto the front electric windows in the front alpha branded kick plates heated seats with lumbar adjustment as well Really lovely looking chunky sports seats, airbags built into the side, and then the embossed Alfa Romeo logo on the headrest there. All black stitching as well. Airbag up here, glove box in there. The owner's manual's over in the driver's side. I'll chuck that in there after we've done the video. But yeah, all clean and tidy everywhere. 
Right, round to the driver's side now. Electric mirrors, these ones are power folding as well. I'll fold them in and out so you can see them working. Electric windows all round, which you can lock from here too. Got the original owner's manual with loads of bits and bobs in there. I've taken a picture of that all spread out so you can see exactly what's there, but it, it looks to be everything. Same on this side, except uh, the driver's side, the driver's side, you get height adjustment. Other than that, same as the other side. And like zero signs of wear on the leather bolsters here. That's it's almost perfect. Uh, alloy pedals with the Alpha logos on. I'll hop in and show you the rest. Got your trip computer bits there. Two keys with the red fascias on them. They're all in good order. There's the miles, 56,485. Auto wipers, auto lights, cruise control, and this very pleasant flat-bottomed multifunction steering wheel with red stitching. Uh, once you've linked your phone up, these buttons come into action, and this is the volume and um, radio buttons up there. Little storage area here. Now this is, um, I don't think, is original. It fits perfectly and it integrates with steering wheel controls and everything else, but I don't think it's original. Um, I'll take you into the menus here. Radio, DAB, auxiliary and Bluetooth. And if you go into the setup, take you down there to the sources. You can see it's got Apple CarPlay and all that sort of stuff. It comes up with an alpha logo when you start the car, but I think you can program those in, but yeah. I'll do some further further reading, but it just strikes me as being a, an aftermarket unit. Uh, locking, front fog lights and rear fog lights, and tire pressure reset, dual zone climate control. Then we've got your auxiliary inputs here. Turn your parking sensors off here, and turn your stop start off there. There's your driving modes, the DNA, I will flick through those they come up on here dynamic is the sporty one natural is day to day and then all weather is the one down the bottom there you just hold that and it flicks between the modes uh, six speed manual gearbox matching in with the color combo red and black same over here with the gator inputs here there's a charger and one that has HDMI on it. This may be part of this aftermarket thing, um, but that would imply that you could use this then as a screen for anything that has an HDMI output. Um, cup holders and storage there, little armrest with another bit of storage there. You will not see it, but there's an airbag logo up there. You'll see it in the pictures more clearly. Two seconds, just got a little notification to get rid of on my phone. Um, Illuminated vanity mirrors, sensors and microphones for Bluetooth, etc., and your interior lighting. This one tells you seat belts are on and off. And a little power button there implies to me that that is an auto dimming rear view mirror. Um, just one thing, it just doesn't look to have native sat nav, but it has the Apple CarPlay, so you could be able to mirror that through and get sat nav there. Um, that is everything I can see. If I've missed something, please do give me a shout and I'll pop out and check for you straight away. Um, I'll include as many pictures as possible of the interior, the exterior, and the paperwork so that you get, along with this narrated walk around video, uh, hopefully the full picture of what the car's like. Uh, we know these days a lot of people can't or don't want to come to the site and like to do the business remotely. We're perfectly happy with that. We can deliver all around the country, and we do every week. A small deposit takes the car off sale. We run it over to you if you're happy you pay the balance if you're not you don't um i can explain that in more detail if you want to give us a call obviously if you're coming down in the traditional sense we are here on the border of fairham and gospel great big car site loads of stuff to look at accessible seven days a week however being a small two-man business quite often just one of us here at a time we can be out and about um, so it is imperative to make an appointment i would say 
if uh, if you've got to this point in the video i assume it's this car you're interested so if you want to come down and have a proper look at it get inside it and all that please do phone ahead and make an appointment because we could well be out of the area and you would waste a journey coming down and not be able to look at the car properly right that's everything i've got to say so thank you very much for watching